My name is Lisa Carrington Furman. I serve in the Air Force. I'm a retired Air Force Colonel. Well, to me, a conference like this is powerful. Number one, it, it again, it, it educates people about this issue, right? But it also brings together a lot of folks with similar lived experiences. So these are individuals who may have experienced military sexual trauma, may have experienced uh, some significant combat trauma as well. So uh, perhaps they're experiencing PTSD, they have PTSD. So they learned they're not alone. And they learned that, that it doesn't matter what rank you are, you know, but that you never know someone's journey. So when you bring a conflict like this together, you bring people in who, who actually want to learn more about these issues. And then like today, I did a, a, a workshop on writing to heal. Because for me, writing, especially writing poetry, has really helped me in, in my healing journey. And I want to share that with others. Using the arts, I think, is, is a powerful way to help people move forward in their lives. I've written opinion pieces, you know, and I've written in magazine articles, and I've been interviewed about the work I do. And because I wrote a book about military sexual trauma and, and it had 14 different experiences in it from all the different services, and again, different ethnicities, different race, LGBTQ involved, all kinds of diverse individuals who serve our country, people are reaching out to me and asking me, hey, can you, can you, can you engage with us? Can we talk some more about what you brought up? Because I want to encourage these courageous conversations. I think that is really important. We, we need to normalize the fact that this is happening and we can talk about it, right? And talk about PTSD as well, because a lot of individuals who suffer from military sexual trauma also uh, suffer from PTSD. So it's important that they get help and that they know they're not alone. And then there's other people who are in this fight with you to, to either heal or to try to drive legislative change, national level changes, organization, institution changes, that kind of thing. So all people need to be treated respectfully as individuals, right? That's an important and powerful message that I think people uh, don't even realize how the significance of it. If you if you share your story, and then you know there's ten people in the audience who have a similar story but have never spoken about it, you might have just sparked something in that individual to seek help. That's one big lesson I learned from uh, from being vulnerable and, and sharing my story and writing poetry about my experiences is that being vulnerable actually empowers me quite a bit. And I think that's an important lesson to learn. So I, I appreciate the opportunity to come uh, to be part of Vets Counseling Veterans. This, uh, this MST conference. I think it's really important, Military Sexual Trauma Conference. I think it's really important and I was proud to be able to lend my support to this.